Hi, this is Paul Murray, Technology Integration Specialist from Portage Public Schools. In today's video tech tip, I'm going to be talking about Google Resource Calendars. Uh, this is something new here at Portage, and I want to just walk through uh, what that looks like uh, in order to add a calendar to your calendar uh, and also uh, how to uh, add an event, how to remove that event, uh, and some other features uh, that you might find useful. All right, so first, uh, I'm going to go ahead and work with the uh, West Middle School events calendar, as I know there are several events listed on there. In order to do that, I'm going to go over here to the left-hand side of the screen where it says Other Calendars. I click on the drop-down arrow here, and that gives me Menu Options. And I click on Browse Interesting Calendars. This will give me a list of several different interesting calendars. Uh, these are not of interest to me at the moment. Uh, what I actually want to do is click on More. And now you'll see the resource uh, resources for portageps.org. If I go ahead and click on that option, you'll see uh, all the buildings in the district are listed with uh, a couple of single calendars, but uh, some buildings have several calendars. If I scroll down to West Middle School, you see that they have 14 calendars. If I click there, you'll see all of the calendars available at West Middle School, and uh, specifically you'll see the events calendar. There's also computer labs and laptop cards, so on and so forth. If I want to subscribe to this calendar so that it appears uh, available on my calendar so that I can see all the events, uh, I can go ahead and I can preview the calendar without actually subscribing to it, which is kind of a nice feature, uh, but I can also subscribe to it. So if I click subscribe, that calendar has now been added to my calendars, and I can uns unsubscribe from it right from here, but there's another way to do that, which uh, I will show you later. If I want to view my calendars, I go back over here, which says back to calendar. Now that I've clicked there, you can see uh, some of the different events that are listed on West Middle School's calendar along with my calendar. All right, that's pretty much how to just view a calendar or add it to um, uh, your list of calendars. If I want to uh, actually remove that calendar from view without actually unsubscribing to it, I can scroll over here to my calendars. Down at the very bottom, Oh, excuse me, I have an event here. All right, I can scroll down to the bottom of my calendars, uh, and I have West Middle School Events Calendar. Uh, this block here is filled in solid. That tells me that that calendar is visible to me, uh, whether there are events listed on it or not, it is visible. Um, and then if I click on that calendar anywhere, uh, it'll actually turn it off, and you may have seen those events disappear from this part of the screen. And you can also tell the calendars off because uh, it is now uh, here in this area, it is now uh, just an uh, outline uh, and no longer a solid filled color. You can change the color of the calendar if you like. Uh, I'll show you that real quick. If you click on this little arrow, you can decide what color you want that calendar to be. And this only affects your calendar, does not affect calendars of other people. They'll get to choose their own color. Um, but what we're going to actually do is we're going to turn that calendar back on so I can view it, and we're going to add an event to it. So let's say on the first day of school I'd like to add an event here at 12.30, just because I've got an open spot. If I click here, or if I go over to the Create button, I can create uh, events that way. But I'm just going to click here on this white part, and uh, the event starts to appear. Um, I haven't actually created anything yet. Um, I'm going to actually go to Edit Event because I want to show you how to add this event to um, the resource calendar. Click Edit Event. I'm going to title the event uh, Delete Me just so uh, the staff over at West Middle School knows that this is uh, an unimportant event and that they can go ahead and get rid of this at any time. Uh, and I'm just going to name this uh, uh, Calendar test. Again, so that uh, everybody knows this can be deleted. 
Now that I've made the calendar, I can go through and I can change the time and the date and, and I can look at several other options and change those, add a description. Uh, but what I really want to do is make sure that I add uh, West Middle School uh, that resource calendar to this event. Uh, the way I do that is here on the right side of the screen you'll see rooms etc. If you click on that option you'll see all the different buildings in the district listed. I want to look for West Middle School. If I click on the caret next to West Middle School that will expand the calendar list and I just look for West Middle School events calendar. Click add and I can remove that if I like. But you're going to notice two different things that happen uh, when you add a resource calendar uh, to this uh, your event. Um, if we click over, uh, if we look over here, it says where, and it'll list the actual location so that you know uh, specifically in your event where you uh, subscribed to or where uh, this event is taking place. And it's also added if I scroll down below the list of rooms you can see my name as a guest and you can also see uh, WMS events calendar as a guest um, those are the two things that happen when you add a calendar to uh, or a resource calendar to your event um, that's really all you need to do if you scroll up to the top you can click save event and then on your calendar what you're going to see is you're going to see your event on your calendar and the identical event on West Middle School's calendar. So if I go over and I turn off my calendar by clicking on it, you can see now that that event is still listed on West Middle School's calendar. Um, and if I go over and turn my calendar on and then scroll down and turn the West Middle School uh, events calendar off, uh, that event is still going to be listed on my calendar. That's how to add an event. Well, perhaps we added it at the wrong time. Uh, we need to change the event. Perhaps there was a snow day or we didn't quite reach the spot in our lesson where we could use whatever resource uh, we had intended to use on that day and we need to move it or, or, uh, or change the time, whatever we need to do to edit that event. I'm going to go ahead and turn West Middle School Events Calendar back on. I, if I click on the event on West Middle School's calendar, the gray one here, if I click on that, I have absolutely no options to make any changes to it whatsoever. All right? So um, this isn't going to help me at all. You don't own this calendar. I don't own this calendar. Uh, we can't make changes in this way. If I go back out to the calendar, in order to make a change to that event, I actually have to go to the event as it's listed on my calendar. So if I click there, now I have the original event as I created it. What I can do, two things. If I want to change the time, I can go ahead and change the time, let's say 2 o'clock. And let's go ahead and click Save. You can see that event has now changed from 12.30 to 2 o'clock, and it's updated not only on my calendar, but also on the resource calendar. Let's say I want to get rid of that uh, event altogether. Again, I have to click on the event on my calendar, and I can, let's say I want to keep the event, but I'm no longer going to have that resource room. It's something I'm going to do, but I don't need the resource any longer. I can simply go ahead and click on the X next to the resource, and in doing so, you can see that it has been struck out. I go up and save that event. And now you can see that event has, it's still on my calendar, but it's been removed uh, from the resource calendar. And again, if I want to go ahead and delete this event altogether, I can simply click on the event, click delete, and that event is gone not only from my calendar, but also from the resource calendar, and it's as though it never existed. So that's how to add an event to a calendar. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead real quick, add another event. Uh, this one, again, I'm going to name Delete Me. Uh, calendar Test. And the reason why I'm going to do this is because what I want to show you, if I click Edit Event, maybe we don't want to add 
uh, the calendar to our list of calendars. Maybe we just want to uh, add an available resource. If I click on Rooms and I scroll down to West Middle and I scroll down to Events Calendar and click Add, um, everything that happened before is the same. Um, but it's not added to my calendar, so I can't actually view the events on it. So I can't see if somebody else has checked out that resource. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, click on Find a Time. If I click on Find a Time, that actually shows me um, all the events listed on my calendar here in this column, as well as all the events listed in the event calendar that I've chosen, uh, or the resource calendar that I've chosen for this a particular event. So now uh, I can see uh, all the events that are listed and see whether or not the event I want to create is in conflict with another. So let's just say for fun I pick a, another school here, CHS, and I go ahead and click on their events calendar. I now have a third calendar added to my room uh, or a second resource added to my room or my event and I can look at that calendar and see if there's any conflict going on there for whatever reason. I, of course, would never really do that, but maybe I'm checking out a computer lab and I need laptops. Who knows? But this is a way that I can actually view events without actually subscribing to the calendar. Kind of a useful feature. Uh, of course, I don't want to do any of this, so I'm going to go ahead and remove both those resources and I am going to discard this event. So let's say I'm all done with the West uh, Middle School events calendar and I no longer want to see it in my list of calendars. I can scroll down to that calendar, click on the little uh, drop down arrow, and I can actually say hide this calendar from the list. Now that doesn't unsubscribe you from the calendar. All it does is it hides you, uh, or it hides you, or hides that calendar, sorry, from your display. If I actually want to unsubscribe from that calendar, I actually need to go over to where it says My Calendars and click on the little drop down arrow there and go to the Settings tab. You can also get to the Settings tab by coming over to the gear on this side for your calendar settings. If I click here, again, I go down to Settings. Either one will get you to the same place. Click on Settings and now you can see, uh, oh sorry, this is Settings specifically for My Calendar that I'm viewing right away. If I want to look at all my calendars, I click here. So I'm sorry uh, that I may have confused you on that one. So now that we're looking at the list of all of our calendars, uh, and I scroll all the way down to the bottom, here you can see the West Middle School events calendar. And if I look here, I can show in list, right? So I can turn that calendar back on to appear in my list. Or I can unsubscribe from that calendar altogether. I'm now unsubscribed when I click unsubscribe. And then I can go back out to my calendar by simply clicking back to calendar. So we've covered today how to add a calendar to your list of calendars, uh, a resource. Um, we have uh, covered how to add an event, how to edit an event, how to remove it from a resource calendar, and also how to un unsubscribe or hide um, a calendar from our list. Uh, I hope that this answers all the questions that you have um, about how to do all of those things. Uh, the one last thing I want to talk about is a little tip. I've had many teachers ask, uh, can I show a resource calendar on my website? Uh, yes, you can. Um, and the way you do that is you first have to subscribe to a particular calendar. Uh, and then you uh, will go to your Google site, um, go through the steps of adding a calendar gadget, and you can see here uh, that I have successfully added the West Middle School events calendar. Uh, there is another video for how to do this. Um, if you would like to see that, uh, please contact me uh, or visit um, the Tech Integration uh, website, and you can find that resource there. Thank you very much uh, for listening today. I uh, hope I've answered all your questions. Have a great day.